Tetanus in dogs. Clinical signs, diagnosis and treatment of tetanus toxemia in dogs. This video is based on the writings of Dr. Henry Stampley, a veterinarian from the Department of Clinical Studies at the Ontario Veterinary College of the University of Guelph. Please remember to give us a like if you find our video interesting and useful. Tetanus toxemia is caused by a specific poison, or toxin, that blocks inhibitory nerve signals, leading to severe muscle contractions and exaggerated muscle responses to stimuli. The toxin is produced by Clostridium tetany bacteria in dead tissue. Almost all mammals are susceptible to this disease, although dogs are relatively resistant. Clostridium tetany is found in soil and intestinal tracts. In most cases, it is introduced into the body through wounds, particularly deep puncture wounds. Sometimes, the point of entry cannot be found because the wound itself may be minor or healed. The bacteria remain in the dead tissue at the original site of infection and multiply. As bacterial cells die and disintegrate, the potent nerve toxin is released. The toxin causes convulsions of the voluntary muscles. The incubation period varies from 1 to several weeks but usually averages 10 to 14 days. Localized stiffness often involving the jaw muscles and muscles of the neck, the hind limbs, and the region of the infected wound, is seen first. General stiffness becomes pronounced about one day later, and then spasms and painful sensitivity to touch become evident. Spasms are often triggered by sudden movement or noise. Because of their high resistance to tetanus toxin, dogs often have a long incubation period and frequently develop tetanus that is localized to the area of the wound, such as stiffness and rigidity in the limb with a wound. The stiffness can spread to the opposite leg then progress toward the head. When generalized tetanus does develop, the ears are erect, the tail is stiff and extended, and the mouth is partially open with the lips drawn back. Tetanus is diagnosed based on an animal's history of having a wound and the presence of the clinical signs. Laboratory tests like for example blood work and radiographs may sometimes also be necessary to properly diagnose this condition. In the early stages of the disease, your veterinarian may recommend muscle relaxants, tranquilizers, or sedatives along with tetanus antitoxin. This treatment is supported by draining and cleaning the wounds and administering antibiotics. Good nursing is invaluable during the early period of spasms. If your pet has tetanus and will be returning home with you rather than staying in a clinic, be sure to follow the nursing care instructions fully and carefully. The information presented in this video was based on the writings of Dr. Henry Stampley, a veterinarian from the Ontario Veterinary College at the University of Guelph. For more information about tetanus in dogs, please contact your local animal hospital. We would appreciate if you gives us a like if the information presented in this video was useful and interesting. Here is a summary of what we discussed in this video about tetanus in dogs. Tetanus toxemia is produced by a bacteria known as Clostridium tetany. The incubation period of tetanus is between 10 to 14 days. Muscle spasms is one of the clinical signs of tetanus. Generalized tetanus in dogs is characterized by erect ears and muscle rigidity. The diagnosis of tetanus is based on the dog history and clinical symptoms. The treatment of tetanus toxemia in dogs includes wound care and the use of antibiotics. Tetanus in Dogs Veterinary Channel 2021